Good morning, Henderson. Good morning. Thank you all so much for being here today. Uh, we are truly humbled by the selection of me as the 17th president of this great and wonderful university. Words cannot express the gratitude in my heart right now that my wife and I and our entire family have at this moment. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to the Board of Trustees. I thank you for the confidence you've shown in us, and we do look forward to earning your continued confidence and respect and trust in the years to come. To the search committee, thank you all for moving my name forward. I wasn't certain what to think after the interview we had here out at Lake DeGray. I felt very nervous that entire time. I've never been that nervous in my life. But I truly enjoyed it, and I thank you all for asking very probing and very thought-provoking questions. I also want to thank a person who has probably had the most thankless job for a few months now, and that's Mr. Bobby Jones. I've known Bobby for a long time, and over the past summer I saw Bobby advocate relentlessly on behalf of Henderson State University as we're going through the performance funding process. He was there every week, he was very diligent, he was always prepared, and Bobby, I just want to say a very personal thank you for leading Henderson during a very, very important transition. I'm extremely excited today. I had to actually put some notes down on the paper because I'm afraid I can get my name here tonight. <laughs> but I'm excited. When I came to campus last week, I was excited about the passion I heard. I was excited about the quality of people that we have on this campus. And I was truly excited about the love you have for each other. And my vision for Henderson is very simple. I want to build one of the premier universities in the state of Arkansas and one of the finest in all of the South. And I believe we can do that right here in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. We will be known for our diversity and inclusiveness. We will be known for the strength of our programs, the quality of our faculty, and the family environment that we're going to create on this campus. But also we're going to be known about our, for our student-centered approach to everything. Everything will revolve around the students, because after all, we're here because of the students. And so students, I thank you all for coming out and being a part of the forums. I thank you all for choosing Henderson as a place to continue your education. I'm looking forward to working with you all, and I'm looking forward to building something great here today with each of you. I'm also looking forward to building a very inclusive leadership team, consisting of servants, both women and men, who have incredible character, who are extremely competent, and who are very compatible with the culture of this university. People who, like me, will be servants to you. And we'll build that. And we're going to lead by serving. We're going to lead by being the example that you all would want us to be. But we're going to lead by challenging, by daring Henderson to be great. I would be remiss if I did not just take a moment to pause on the historic nature of today. I do recognize there were many, many African American higher education administrators who've gone on before me, who are far more talented, who've had to endure ordeals that I cannot even begin to speak of. And I recognize today that I'm here because of them. And I come standing on their shoulders. And I come recognizing that while I may be the first, what's most important is that I am the president of Henderson State University. And while history may list me as a first, History will judge me based upon my ability to lead this university back to promise. And I give you my commitment today that my family and I, we will move heaven and earth. We will do everything within our power and within our imagination to uphold the great name of Henderson State University. And finally, I want to thank three very special people here today. And that's my wife and my best friend, Sharon, my daughter, Camille, and my son, Cameron. Every night when they're asleep, I go back up to their room and I pray a little prayer over them, which is the chorus of the song. And it goes something like this. I pray that God will fill your heart with dreams and that faith will give you the courage to dare to do great things. God has filled my heart with a lot of dreams about Henderson State University. And I'm here today because my faith dares me, and I'm daring you to join me in daring to do great things at Henderson State University. So Sharon, Camille, and Cameron, thank you for being willing to disrupt your lives right now. Thank you for the excitement that you have about coming to Henderson State University right now. Thank you for being willing to take this huge journey of faith with us over the coming years here at Henderson State University and in the city of Arkadelphia. 
And moving forward, I simply have one request. Join us. We're going to need you. We're going to need every colleague, every faculty, every staff, every student, every member of this community, every member of this region, everyone around the state. Join us in what we're going to build here at Henderson State University. Join us if you dare to do great things for yourself. Join us if you want to be something more than just Henderson. But join me if you believe like I do that there is no place that prepares students the way we do here at Henderson State University. And there is no place in which to come and invest your career if you're a faculty member or a staff member, but also there's no better place if you're a student to come and really dare to do great things in your life. So on behalf of my family and I, I thank you all for the opportunity you've given us. We will not let you down. We will not disappoint. We are extremely excited and we are ready to move forward immediately to begin the process of building one of the premier universities in the state of Arkansas. Thank you.